Midnight Trinity here and today I am going to be showing you guys a uh, lip swatch because I got a haul on some makeup. I got a bunch of uh, makeup on sale at Walmart and uh, most of it's lipsticks and liquid lipsticks and lip gloss but there are a few extras at the end so you'll get to check those out with me so let's get into it the first color is called late night done right it's kind of like a really 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 dark purple and I am in love with purple. Purple is my favorite color, hence my purple background. I would have gotten my blue background that's glittery in purple if they would have had it, but they didn't. So I got these for about 50 cents a piece, and they're usually $5. And uh, they're from Wet n Wild. So. It's a high shine one, and it's kind of like a a grapey color. I don't know if you can see. So let's. Get that one off. That's the first one. My lips are going to hurt after this, after all the wiping. Thank goodness I have these really soft moisturizing wipes that are cucumber and green tea. Okay, let's try not a dark color next. So the next one is called Lavender Crown. This is also from Wet n Wild. This is a matte. This is a very light purple kind of reminds me of one of the Jeffree Star lips and I like it I don't know what look I'd use it for but it's definitely a color I'd wear and I picked it because it's, it's another purple I'm obsessed with purple I even with the Kat Von D, when I went to Ross back before they closed down, I got a purple. So, I have a purple obsession. I do like other colors. I do like teal. And, like, mint green. And, but usually since I've got more of a gothic style, I try to go with darker colors most of the time. Because I think like bright colors look weird on me. Okay, so next one is called Once in a Bronze Moon. And this is a metallic lipstick. I got this one because it had a really pretty shine to it. And I don't have a lot of shiny lipsticks. 
I just don't usually, it's not a formula I usually go for. I love glitter, don't get me wrong, but when I do my lips, I usually make it myself, like put a glitter topper or put some um, glitter glue on top of my lips. So here's this one. You can see. I don't know if this is really my color, but I feel like I could use it with a mix of something. And at the end of this video, I'm also going to swatch them all on my arm so you can get more of like a perspective of what the colors actually look like. Since my, uh, my arm is light, so you can definitely tell like what color is on my arm easier and I've gotten this like this exact type before I uh, got this shiny green one a while ago for poison ivy and uh, I used you used it quite a bit okay the next one is called gothic topic and this is a matte I think it's a reddish color I could be wrong when I get the plastic I'll show you it could be a brown it could be a red it's kind of like a blood color like a color of dried blood and I honestly picked it out because in the store it looked red like a dark red so if But it kind of looks more brown. way more out my alley even though it's kind of brown it's very blood colored and more my style usually so and these aren't proving too hard to get off I'm not having to wipe very hard I know it looks like I'm wiping hard because my face is turning kind of red. But I have sensitive skin, so it's just from me wiping my face over and over again. Um, let's get them all out in front of me so you guys don't have to keep hearing the bag rattle. Um, Next one we've got is a bright red and it's called Flame of the Game. I dropped this one on the floor and so the top chipped a bit. I don't think that'll impede on its a uh, thing. And it's kind of like a reddish orange. It's not a, a reddish, an orange like red instead of like the bluish red, which is more my style. Holy moly, this is bright. And I... I picked this, even though it's not really my style usually. Because I love red lipstick. And it can always be used with like a lip liner. 
to give a darker hue. And uh, so there's that color. Looking like the Joker I am. That one was a bit hard to get off and kind of stained my face. But we'll keep going with this, even if I look like a crazy person by the end. Um, we got this fuchsia. Let's call back to the fuchsia. Once again, not usually a color I'd wear, but it's kind of like a lighter version of the Kat Von D one. And it's very pretty. Not necessarily my style, but I thought it was pretty because it's purple. It's like a purpley pink. Oh yeah, I'm looking like a clown because this is making my face so red. I hope you guys get a kick out of this. Uh, this one is, the color is teal. And you guys know what I said about teal earlier. I love teal. very bright kind of reminds me of I know I overlined really bad with this one um it's a very pretty color I feel like it'd be a really good rave color or like a music festival or maybe mixed with something Or even used as a face paint. Kind of reminds me of Cookie Monster. I know that sounds funny. Disclaimer that hair you saw me pull for my lip was not from the lipstick. It's from these wipes. Um... I think I'm just going to give my lips a break. I don't think my lips can take anymore. So I'm going to start swatching on my hand because my lips are burning. So we don't want to cause detrimental damage to my lips. This one is called Dead Ringer. It's a black shade. It's a high shine. So... can see um this one is from Milani 
the shade is called Magnificent. This one was a dollar, I believe. This was the only color they had, so I had to get it because I liked the Milani formula. And it was very up my alley, so... We've got this nice dark red color. Um, the next one is Coral Corruption. It's a very soft pink. It, I got this one because it reminded me of my grandmother because she always says that she likes pink and like nudie colors and so it reminded me of her and something she would wear. And I know that sounds lame, like, oh, it's what a grandmother would wear. But it was so bright, I didn't think she'd wear it. And I just thought it was really pretty, because I love coral and coral reefs. And it, I was right. It's very orange for my look, my look and how I usually do my makeup. But very pretty, nonetheless. Second from last is uh, a color called Pocket Change. Weird name. I think all these have weird names. I think I would come up with like something at least a little bit more unique than that. There's that. This is what it looks like in the bottle. And then the last one is another black. This is a metallic lipstick. And this is called Shady Witch. I'm very into black lipstick and black lip anything. It's just who I am, who I be. Kind of looks like the same, but not really. And if you can see, it's got lots of glitter in it. So, before I start swatching the other ones, i show you what else I got. I got one of Wet n Wild's um, loose highlighters in the color Written in the Stars. And it was from their, I think it was from one of their collections, their... Mega Glow, it kind of looks like the Zodiac, kind of. And uh, they had a bunch of these, but this one was the only one light enough for me to use. Oh, look, the little shapes, they're stars. Now let me try to peel this without making a ginormous mess. Because I don't know how hard of a time you guys have getting these off. But I don't have nails really. And so. I usually have a. Okay so. There it is. I'm going to put it on my finger. And I'm going to put it on the inside of my wrist. I think it's really, really shiny and pretty. Doesn't have a bad smell to it. I don't like them when they're either too perfumey. 
or have too much of a smell. And I also got this Cody Airspun um, translucent setting powder for $1.50. As you know, it comes with a powder puff. And uh, so this kind of has a perfumey smell, which I'm not. Oh no, that's a lot. And so, looks very natural though, which is good. I'm just not too happy about the smell, but it's usually six dollars, and I got two of them for three, so together they would have been like. Well, I got it for three, so I would have to call that pretty good. I don't know what you guys think. So let's start swatching these on my hands so you can get better rep uh, color representation. So this is that bronze one. Um, once in a bronze moon. Just a warning, I'm terrible at swatches. Here's the one late night done right, which was that really dark, like purple. And that's what it looks like. Now, for the blue. Now for the flame of the game. That's what that one looks like. Here is goth topic. I'm terrible at swatches. I'm terrible at this, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry the baby's crying also. He's, uh, he's teething really bad and we just came home from a really long trip. And so he's very fussy. And he's fighting sleep. And here's the lavender crown one. You can see all the colors. I think this is all of them. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One. And I think that's all the colors, uh, so let me do my little outro. And anyway, guys, if you like that, please like, subscribe, and don't forget to comment something you would like to see. Some makeup you'd like me to try out. Some, like, I will do the hundred layers of lip gloss or something like that. Uh, what's something your favorite that you have in your daily bag? Or is it everyday makeup for you? If you guys like this, I hope you liked it at least. I love you guys. I'm sorry I'm repeating myself. I'm really tired. Had a long day and as you can hear my midgets crying. I love you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.